Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use a program called JigsawPlanet.com. It is completely free. Of course, the first thing you would do is go and sign up. Uh, so, and then the next thing you would do is go over here and hit Create. Now, you need to have an image that you would like to use. And I'm going to show you a couple different ideas where I have used this with different um, groups of students. All right, I have prepared here a Google slide and I'm gonna rename this to say uh, Prairie Lily. And here I can choose how many pieces I would like it to be. Well, I'm going to say this is going to be for about a uh, grade four student. So maybe around 40 pieces is fine. Now, as you can see, you can make it as easy or as hard as you'd like. And you can also choose on the type of puzzle piece. And if you'd like them, if the students would have to rotate them, that would make it quite challenging. I'm going to leave that alone and I'm going to say region flower science for my tags and now I hit create and the magic begins. So your job is basically to figure out an image to upload and then the program does the rest for you. Now in the edit I have um, asked to have displayed what the original looks like. And so as you can see, it says, what is the flower of the area where you live? Prairie Lily, Saskatchewan's flower. This is a great warm up activity. And then you simply drag and drop. And because I've made these pieces so that you don't have to turn them, um, that makes this a little easier. And then of course, you can teach how do you build a puzzle? Whereas it's um, good to find the corner pieces and put them where they belong. And then because we have words, this makes it a little easier. And as you can see, I wanted to show you that they, they kind of suck together when you get the right piece. So there's no problem in figuring that out. So you can use this um, website for vocabulary enrichment, for just photos that you take um, of your students working. After you get um, this part finished, you go to share, and then you can see you can share it to Facebook, Twitter. I always share it to my email. So when I do that, it gives me a copy and paste. So I don't actually have to um, send it. I can just copy it and then go to my slideshow or my Google Classroom or wherever and uh, paste it in there. And that's it. That's all you need to do. So it's a, a really easy way to motivate kids um, to get them to class so that they can indeed work on it. Um, I've had sometimes where when the students arrive, their job is to go and create and go ahead and, and make the puzzle. And then we see who can finish it first. So it's like a race, which again, the kids love, of course. So I hope that is uh, something that maybe you will try using in your own classroom.